Okay, in this set of problems, we're looking at the pigeonhole principle. Um, the, there's a lot of details to the pigeonhole principle, but the most important thing to remember is that you always consider the worst case scenario and how it applies to these problems. Uh, I would suggest looking up pigeonhole principle uh, on Wikipedia. There's a very nice explanation there. Uh, but for our purposes, uh, the first problem says, how many socks must be randomly removed from the drawer to ensure that two green socks are drawn? So we've got these 12 blue, 8 red, and 9 green socks in a drawer. Well, if we want two green socks, the worst case scenario would be that we drew all blue and all red before we drew any green socks. So that means to ensure that we get two green so socks, we first have to just assume the worst case, which is to get 12 blue, to get 8 red, and then we need two green socks, we have to add two to that, so the total number of socks that must be drawn is 22 to ensure that you get two green socks. Now, it's possible when you were doing this you would get two on the first two, but the word ensure means how many do you have to have to make sure that you got this correct. Alright, number two, how many socks must be randomly removed from the drawer to ensure that three of every colored sock have been drawn? Well, the worst case scenario is that we don't draw three of every sock. And so um, that would imply drawing maybe all of the blues and all of the reds at the same time. So now in this one, it actually turns out to be a very similar problem. Because the worst case scenario would be drawing 12 blues and 8 reds before we worry about any of the greens. Now notice, oh, actually 12 blues and 9 red greens, because, uh, and that's a mistake that's easy to make on that problem. Um, you want to take the two worst, which would be getting uh, blues and greens, because those are the two most socks. And then, after we drew all of those socks out, we have to draw the three red socks, and now we have three of every color uh, drawn, and so that's going to be 24 socks. The last one, how many socks must be randomly removed from the drawer to ensure that four of one of the colors has been drawn? Well, the worst case scenario would be drawing three blue, three red, and three green. So we could draw nine socks without being sure that we've got four of each of them. And then once we do that, we just have to draw one more sock. And that sock has to match one of our groups of three. And so that means that we have ten socks that have to be drawn. And so this is a, an application of what's called the pigeonhole principle. Uh, and again, when you run into these problems, always think, what is the worst case scenario?